in 48 hours. Two five-minute rounds. If we need a third, it'll be an extra five-minute round. Kicks and knees to the head of a down opponent are illegal. What are illegal are elbow. Once again, <laughs> my name is Joe Farrell, I'll join alongside the baddest Jets. man on the planet, Jets. Joe Warren, Jets. about to see his boy, King Mo, take on the legend, Mirko Krokop. He's got his wrestling shoes on for grip. He's moving better. I'm excited to watch this fight. I was always, I was just asking you about reach advantage. One of, was wondering if Mo has a longer reach advantage than Krokop. Yeah, good job. King Mo wasting no time trying to close the distance using his strikes. Krokop obviously that stance getting lower. You see that kick coming. Exactly what King Mo wanted. He wanted something low, and he's able to get that takedown down to the ground. Less, just over 30 seconds for him to score that takedown. This is exactly what Mo wanted. He wanted him to throw that low leg kick so he could have caught it into that single switch to a double. That's where we're at. Head position perfect, right under the chin. He's in the center. His, his head's not getting pushed to one side for a submission. He guys has to get his hands off the mat and worry about. Well, there's no elbows this round. And just look at the size difference, Joe. Mo is uh, definitely smaller. Mo is now stretching him out, putting his forearm on the neck or on the chin, lifting up and cocking his right hand back so he can land some bombs. Love to see. Nice. Nice round and pound, good position. Needs to make sure that he's posturing well. Saw Krokop there trying to sneak his left leg through, looking for a triangle choke here, but a great job so far by King Mo. Getting the takedown, working his ground and pound. But Mirko Krokop now is trying to trap that right arm of King Mo. And I'll tell you right now, this is exactly where King Mo wants to be. He wants to stay right here for the first round, uh, first five minutes, do the same thing second round, take no damage, move to the next round and defend his belt. Good. Good. Referee imploring King Mo a bit more action, although I do believe he is working. But the referee here wants to see a bit more. When they say action, they also want to see damage. If they are rising, they would like to see damage. And I like to correct myself, he's not defending that belt. Tournaments are separate, it's a separate belt for each tournament. Here we have here King Mo. Like Joe Warren said, keeping his head in the center position, not making his head wander to the wrong side. And of course the referee says, nope, not causing enough damage, we're gonna stand up here. We got two minutes and 15 seconds in this first round. Mo's moving forward, bringing him in that corner. Prokop looking to land that left there. Got to defend the takedown first. Look for knees and uppercuts to be coming here. And Mo needs to circle him back. Push him against that. Push him against the corner again so that he then cannot use those nasty leg kicks. Oh, a trip attempt there by Krokop. He's shaking that hand. There's a left to the body there. Your boy King Mo better protect every part of the left side of his body, or the right side of his body. Oh, there's <laughs> and we talk, We talked about Mo keeping his hands low. They're higher than they normally are right now. I don't think those shoes are helping him much. He seems to be sliding more. That's what we want. This is what we, I just talked about the first round. He's waiting for that low leg kick, switch from a single to a double leg, bring him back to the ground, and win, win with position. Yeah, it seems to be a little slippery, like you said, Joe. This is not where you want to be. You want to get a little more distance. I was just going to say the same thing. If you stand too close to Krokop, that's what he's looking for. And he wants to make sure that he's outside that front leg, that he's moving left. Less than one minute to go, and there we have here Kimo looking for the double. Now he's clinched up here. Continuing to pummel, continuing to work for that takedown. Knees landed by Krokop. There are 35 seconds left in this round. Mo has controlled the whole round. He's won this round, I think. 30 seconds to go. Look, there you see Mirko Krokop loading up there. He was looking to throw. There it is. 
That is a thunderous shot to the body. Oh, and it's King Mo with the comeback. Well, Kolkov's mouth is open, means, meaning he's tired. You don't fight with your mouth open. These two guys are not messing around here. Kolkov again, throwing those shins. He's reckless abandonment, and, we're, and there you have the King Mo wanting to get that fight down to the ground. Do you think Mirko Kolkov did enough to sway the judges in that round there? No, I don't think so. We talked about this with the wrestlers earlier tonight. They get focused on finishing that takedown, and they're focused at one thing. They're going to keep running. They need to stop that. They need to understand if the takedown's not working, you need to switch it up. That's the takedown I was talking about. A low kick, he caught the single leg switch to a double and won here. Now he's on his feet. Another hard head kick, at least his hands were up. Mo's not usually a guy that keeps his hands up. Nine out of 10 times, that could have been, that could have been really bad for Mo. Well, you can see when Krokop bites down on that mouthpiece and he stops for that one moment, he loads up and he launches an absolute baseball bat your way, you need to be making sure you are blocking that thing or getting out of dodge. That one there, he did rock King Mo, but King Mo said, you know what, I don't care. We're here to fight, and we're gonna fight. We are now going, heading into the second round. And Mirko, he is a tired man right now. Uh, the reason I said that is that when you're opening your mouth to throw punches and not, and not biting down, it's because you're trying to breathe. And that's because your conditioning's not there. Mo Round needs two. to be smart. He needs to be smart. He needs to uh, control distance or push him against this ring and make this fight against the ring so he can't get kicked. Good job. See, he's moving left now. He's moving outside that front leg so he can't get kicked. He's got to kick across his body to get to him. Yeah. Up, in my opinion, was smart. He just showed, hey, here's the left hand. He faked it, and we saw what happened with King Mo. King Mo immediately got out of dodge. Yep. But he needs to continue to move left and stay outside of that front leg. That's exactly what he's doing. He's basically taking your advice. Do not, under any circumstances, have your left leg on the inside of Mirko yeah. Krokop's right leg because that is what Krokop is waiting for. That's what a baseball bat will be coming your way. Yeah, that's, you know, the bottom line is you don't move into a man's power, especially a veteran like this. Yeah. See, you hear his corner, Mo. One good takedown, and this fight is over, folks. Without this one takedown, and they stand up here this whole time, there might be a third round. Now, this is King Mo competing with his mouth open here. Yep. Oh, a nice, nice right hand landed there by King Mo. Backing Krokop up. Up with the left cross, throwing out the jab right now. A little bit more aggressive in this round here. Finish. Uh, and now it's Krokop as Kiko in the corner, throwing those combinations. So the punches takes out Kiko. This fight is over. Just like that. Just like that. You know, you, you get a big, powerful man. He puts so much force behind his punches. One punch can change a fight. We talked about this before with these super heavyweights. That's what we just watched. I'm not sure how that works, though. You know, I... Let's take a look here at the finish. You saw King Mo going in for that takedown, and then as soon as Krokop was able to land those, those combinations, it was nights, lights out, night over. The fans are absolutely cheering, and we're about to see all of the tournament competitors remaining. Okay, gentlemen, we've been through the rules. You need to protect yourselves at all times, and obey my instruction at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch gloves, back to your corner. Oh, no touchy. This is our main event of the evening. AFC middleweight title on the line. Here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Five by five minute rounds. Do Round not believe. It's not going to go long. By Arco Brew. This is not going to go long at all. No touch of gloves from these two seasoned fighters. No, they don't like each other. They made it very clear at the weigh-ins yesterday. Interviewed both fighters. Didn't want a bar of it. Oh, the head kick. It's, it's, shoot. 
Oh, Melvin goes for the takedown, and, he's, and he may this. have it. He's oh! Got it. oh, my goodness. Tried the front roll out. Straight onto the back rear is Melvin naked, Gillard. Rear naked choke attempt by Melvin Gillard. Could it be all over this early in the first round? Unexpected. He said to me yesterday, expect the unexpected, and that is exactly that. Oh, oh beautiful work by Israel. The soul bender does so well to reverse that and get Melvin onto his back. And now here comes some bombs. Watch out. He's going to throw bombs down here. Oh, look at the high mount. He can get a triangle. No, he's going to slip out. He'd rather he... stay standing, Israel. Interesting by Melvin. Early shoot. Gets a takedown. Oh, they're going to hurt. Such a height and reach advantage for Israel. Shoots again too far. Look at the confidence from Israel. Melvin needs to time himself carefully. Yep, Melvin's aware of the reach disadvantage that he has here. It's not going to set, but Melvin closes distance like nobody before him. So interesting to see that he's gone the two takedowns. Let's see if some power punches follow. So here we go. It's settled down a little bit now. Melvin's such a seasoned warrior, Josh. He, he, he could do anything at any time, and he knows how to handle stress and adversity and he's got the one punch ko power we all know that so he can finish his fight with one clean shot as can israel so don't blink man don't blink here these fighters fighting at every last gram in 84 kilograms israel controlling the center right now melvin sets his shot up but there's that experience you know melvin just resets so quickly it doesn't phase him at all he goes for something doesn't get it that's a third leg kick israel targeting the lead leg of Melvin Gillard is going to make it tough to shoot again. Especially in a long battle that is a five-round war. Oh, how quickly can he snap those kicks out? And the angles are perfect. Great Melvin's got to layer. keep moving here. Melvin has to keep moving. Oh, that Ooh. looks gut shot. Look at the eyes of Israel right now. And the fakes. Melvin doing well, though. Moving well, moving laterally. Cutting angles. It's going to keep Israel moving around. Harder to punch when you're not flat-footed. Oh, good oh. fake. But that's the thing. If Israel could just keep Melvin nervous, not knowing shoots. what's going to happen, he shoots, goes for the takedown. Oh, Israel with the takedown. In the mount. Israel Oh, reverse. here come the big punches. Trouble. Melvin's got a buck. Melvin's got a buck his way. He's going to give his back up. He's giving up his back. He's got a hook. Israel's got both hooks in. And big punches to follow. Can he maximise? Can he succeed with this back mount melvin's been here oh the here we go rear naked in. choke he's got that's it in. tight it's in that's deep. very tight for israel referees all over it watching closely it's on his chin i think you see israel it's not under the yet. legs it's in. not under he releases to try and superiorize that's experience from melvin gallard there as well tuck your chin in don't give him the throat and again he's done it so rear naked choke on chin hurts but it won't finish Beautiful. Strength. Beautiful movement there from Gillard, the young assassin. Israel now, oh, big elbow. That got through the right elbow by Israel. Again, Melvin looks like he's sort of got, oh no, look like he had a butterfly for a second. Look how easily Israel transitions though. In the side control, watch the knees coming. Go. He takes it back, rain down some punches again. Now Melvin has to move here. He but he, oh, oh kick. big body kick. He's saying, get up, let's go again. Melvin takes a big breath, clears his nose, eyes look clear. Oh, good left hand by Israel. Melvin's got to get those gloves up. Four ounces, not a lot of giving them ones. Fakes the right kick again. Gillard, good leg kick. Gillard needs to stick and move. Yeah, he's got to diversify his punches here. He's moving okay. Oh, right, right hand, hand and the knee. Melvin's going to clinch, wait for the throw. Beautiful takedown. And oh, Melvin's turtled again, and the big knees are going to follow. Big right hand. Melvin, Melvin's very clear headed though. Oh, oh no! Oh, that... the body kick. Melvin's got to move. He's got to move here. Big crushing rights. Israel is just oh, the knee. Big knee. He goes big down. knee by Israel. Melvin's stuck in the corner. Israel's going to drop bombs here to the ref stops this one. We've only got 20 seconds left on and the Melvin, clock. Melvin, hang on. Melvin should be able to make no, it. Oh, it's over. It's all over oh, there. Have it. championship there you have it ladies and gentlemen afc never fails to deliver what a worldwide beating event this is afc 20. melvin took some big shots there some big punches 
And then those kicks, those kicks into the solar plexus would have really, really taken the wind out of him. It really was a height and reach advantage here. Both yeah. fighters so well skilled and so talented, but it really was a difference in size. Israel used it perfectly though. Used his reach. We'll see here right now. Threw the kicks out. Diversified his striking. Was able to negate the takedowns of Melvin. Melvin was just so relentless in that takedown though. Gets the back so quickly. Goes in for the rear naked. Didn't get it. And here we see the turnaround. Such fast movement from the young assassin. And there's that high kick again from the soul bender. Gillard, the young assassin, goes for the takedown, but it's a reversal and a beautiful judo sweep from Israel. Israel goes into classic ground and pound, leading into the desperate battle that ended up with Gillard being kicked whilst on the ground. Big knee. And there you go, that knee was the one that really signed the death knell for the young assassin. He's, turn, he's uh, up against the fence and the referee. Итак, джентльмены, это главный бой вечера. Работаем 5 раундов по 5 минут. Внимательно слушаем мои инструкции. Деремся честно и активно. Защищаем себя все время. Руки пожали. Поездом! Судьи, время готов! Готов! Первый раунд! Стой!
Быстрее. Ветеран, готовы? Бой!
Внимательно. Четвертый раунд. Готовы? Бой!
Разошлись. Разошлись. Финали, третий раунд. О, пятый раунд. Готовы? Бой! Пожали. Готовы? После команды стоп. Минус балл, предлагаю. А? По углам! Синий угол на середину. В угол! В угол! Удар после команды стоп, который услышали все. Удар ногой. Внимательно! Внимательно! Ой!
Их рождаю. Внимательно! Ой! Перед тем, как я объявлю результат боя, давайте еще раз поаплодируем этим двум воинам! Итак, Итак, по окончании пяти раундов со счетом 50-44 единогласным решением победу одержал и стал обладателем эксклюзивного пояса RCC! Магомед Лысый Хищник!